Hi, welcome back to Finally Revealed. In this episode, I want to go over a few things as the year is coming to a close, things that you might not think about every day that you might want to consider as you're around family and friends. The first one is, is your will up to date or do you have a will? Is it current? Does it include all of your kids? Does it include property that you have now? Are there any changes that you need to make? Has anyone, unfortunately, who you named in there to be an executor of the will or a trustee, have they died or has their health deteriorated or are they older? That's number one. Companion to that is, do you have any powers of attorney outstanding that you didn't cancel, either for a particular event or a transaction or in connection with your kids while you were traveling? Were those terminated? Make sure those are terminated in writing if they didn't have an expiration on their face. The next thing is your taxes. Have you taken advantage of all of your cafeteria plan items through work? Have you taken advantage of any deductions that you can make for charity or credits? Have you lined up for any energy saving or things that have a deadline? Did you make all the payments necessary so that you can take that credit for this year? Are you getting a divorce? Is that case lingering? Is there financial benefit to both of you to get it done before the year end? As I've said in other videos, your marital status in the U.S. on December 31st is how you were for the whole year for tax purposes. That might be a way to resolve the marriage and benefit both of you. Financial situations that you need to review. Do you have any money coming to you that you need to plan for, for tax purposes or otherwise? Do you have any loans that have variable interest rates that are getting ready to change? How about your real estate taxes? Did those recently go up? Do you know if you have an escrow through your mortgage company, you might want to check on your insurance and your taxes because that will impact your payments to your lender next year, or if you make those payments directly, those will impact the payments that you make directly. Is there a vehicle that you're interested in buying? Oftentimes the year-end sales are the best time to get that vehicle. Check for things that are gently used to save even more money. If your employer has a retirement plan, where are you in that retirement plan? Are you getting ready to be able to participate in it and then after that it's all money that's vested to you or have you been participating in it for a while? You checked on your balances lately? Are you able to put away more money into that plan and, and should you plan for that for next year? Is there any type of rollover you can take advantage of or any type of lump sum that you can add to that that will boost what you are doing? Are there any additional payments that you can make on your mortgage? That Have you reviewed your taxes for last year? Do you need to make adjustments in your withholding? You have until January 15 of the, of the new year to get that information to your employer. So start working on that now just in case you need to make any changes so you don't miss that deadline. Do you take any withdrawals from any um, plans or retirement that need to be replaced by a certain deadline or if you took that out and you realize that you're going to have a penalty or a ta additional tax burden, is there something that you can do with your final paychecks for this year that can take out additional withholding so that that will protect you next year when you file your taxes? In your own business, have you talked to your accountant? Should you defer any income to next year? What about any last minute expenses for equipment or any other improvements? Are there deductions that you're going to leave on the table if you're not able to take advantage of those this year? Have a car that you're interested in selling. Have you thought about it but not really pursued that? Is there a big drop-off in value? Sometimes depending upon the age of the car at a certain level and based upon the mileage, it's going to drop. So now you're in 2019. Your value that you can capture now if you sell it before the calendar turns to 2020. And as always, do you have any tax credits or do you have any coupons or other deals that are lying around that are getting ready to expire? Take advantage of those now and get the benefits. Let me know of any year-end things that you do. Leave any comments or questions below. Give me a thumbs up if any of this helped you. Subscribe to see the other videos. Thanks for watching and come back and see me next time.